This week's Torah reading is Vayigash. Vayigash meaning, and he approached. Referring here, though, to Joseph's brother Judah approaching him and offering to take Benjamin's place. Judah approached Joseph in an effort to plea on behalf of Benjamin. The price we pay later can well be a byproduct of what we do today. Judah may have prior done so wrong which caused such negative consequences, but Judah could and did, just as well now, choose to do right, to at least later yield some better consequences. Judah was willing here to accept bondage over freedom to save his brother such fate. As he pleads to Joseph, not yet knowing that he is Joseph, the Yishev na, and now, please, let it be so. Abdechat hachat hana'ar, that I will be your slave instead of the boy. Aved l'onai, I will be slave to you, my Lord. Joseph had been enslaved by his brothers, and ultimately the tables could well be turned here. Joseph, though, could see that Judah had changed. Judah was no longer thinking of himself first. Judah was no longer acting out of jealousy. Judah was now trying to do what was good and right. Judah was putting his brother before himself. Judah was putting what was right before himself. Joseph thus decided to then identify himself to his brothers. Ultimately, his brothers, father, and their families joined him in Egypt. Famine, though, gravely continues to affect the people. At least Joseph is in such a position here to provide better for his family. Others, though, are not in such good position. Quite disturbingly here, the government is in a position to take advantage of the people. And the people keep giving in to the government and letting the government having more and more power and control over them. Again, the price we pay later can well be a byproduct of what we do today. The people depend more and more on the government and the people are made weak with more and more government control. The people had to spend what they had earned and saved for the food supplies that the government controlled. Then, when their money all was spent, they had to barter with their other possessions. Then when their money was spent and possessions bartered away, they had to pay with their land. Then when their money was spent, possessions bartered, and they had paid with their land, they then sold themselves into servitude. Little by little, they gave more and more. They gave up more and more, without even realizing the extreme price they were so paying, until the government owned everything and the people were dependent on the government. The price we pay later can well be a byproduct of what we do today. When people depend so on government, government has then that much more full control over the people, and freedom is ultimately lost. Oh, there is so much for us to learn from the Torah, and how timely this lesson now is here. Vayomru, and they said, Hechaitanu, thou hast saved our lives. Nimsachem be'enei Adoni, it is pleasing in the sight of my Lord. And we will be Pharaoh's servants. The people seem to have willingly and gladly and even gratefully given away their freedom. Thou hast saved their lives. They so claimed. 
The people seem to have willingly and gladly and even gratefully, but oh so ignorantly and foolishly, they have given away their freedom. Are they actually so foolishly, so ignorantly, so deceived into being grateful for their servitude, for their enslavement? Yet the masses of people can be so fooled, so as to think that the government is doing them a favor and helping them when it is, albeit perhaps subtly, so slowly seizing control over them. They have disturbingly so placed their faith and trust into the government, and that is clearly not to the benefit of the people. Again, the price we pay later can well be a byproduct of what we do today. And with time, the tables would kind of turn. The dominoes would continue to fall as they had been set. The Egyptians would so harshly enslave our ancestors, and we would be slaves there for 400 years. Actions always have consequences. The dominoes will fall once they have been set into motion. Had Joseph's brothers, though, not sold him into slavery, which brought us then to Egypt, maybe we would not then, later, have been enslaved there for 400 years. Had they not stayed longer than the five remaining years of the famine, had they not stayed longer than needed, not overstayed what should have been their welcome, in the land that was not so to be ours, maybe we would not then later have been enslaved there for 400 years. What we do, what we decide to do, what we choose to do, does yield consequences. The price we pay later can well be a byproduct of what we do today. And I will leave you with that to ponder as I wish you Shabbat Shabbat.